and welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year. I think this is probably going to be my first video that I post in the new year. If it's not, then Happy New Year anyway. I have filmed this makeup look here for you guys today. It's basically just a kind of real time get rid of me chatty video. I really like how it turned out. I tried out loads of new products that I bought bought for Christmas, that I got for Christmas. So yeah, if you want to see how I achieved this and what products I use, then just keep on watching. So please just excuse the no makeup face and the fact that I look like an egg right now because I have my hair tied up. It's not greasy, it's soggy because soggy. Why do they use that word? It's still damp because I've literally just had a shower. So you are joining me getting ready from the very start of the day. So I got a few makeup bits for Christmas this year, which I'm so grateful for. By the way, I do want to film a what I got for Christmas haul. I did do like a poll on my Instagram to see if you guys wanted me to film it. And a lot of you guys did. So I do want to film that. But unfortunately, because we spent Christmas in Norfolk with our family, we had to like transport all our presents back and it just didn't work like that. So half of them are actually at my nan's right now. So we need to go and get them at some point, but I just don't have all my presents here right now. So I can't film that video yet. So please just let me know down below if you do still wanna see it because it won't be until potentially like a couple of weeks. But anyway, on with getting ready. So, so far today, I have of course just had a shower and then I've used the Pixie Glow Tonic to exfoliate and like cleanse my face. I am obsessed with this. If you see my vlog, you will know that I got this in a goodie bag from an event that I went to and I've been using it ever since, I'm literally obsessed. And then for moisturizer, I have used, again, this is something that came in the goodie bag, but this is the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula Moisturizing Day Cream. Again, using this ever since I've got it, I absolutely love it. So that is my skincare at the moment, really basic. I never actually do anything with my skin anyway, but that is what I've done so far. On with makeup. So as I say, I have loads of new bits to try out, but then a lot of things are also gonna be the same as what I've always used. Also, I've changed the setup, so I don't have my desk behind me is actually right in front of me here below you guys who can't see it but it just means I can like splay on my makeup out and mum bought me this amazing Zoeva mirror I didn't actually ask for this but this is literally so useful I feel like mum always has my videos in mind when she buys me things bless her but so grateful for this because it just makes it so much easier to do my makeup so this was a good buy mum just realized that my foundation is in the other room so I'm gonna go and get that can you guys tell that I'm so out of practice I honestly haven't filmed a video in like two or three weeks I think and this just feels weird. I think what I'm going to do is start with my eyes because I do want to do quite a bold eye look today just because I also received at Christmas two Morphe palettes. I have now got the 35W palette and the 35OS palette. That literally means nothing to me. I just picked them out on the website according to the colours, but I am obsessed with these and can't wait to actually try them out. I just think they're stunning palettes. So I'm going to start with my eyes and just go a bit on a whim, like I'm just gonna make it up as I go along. So I'm gonna start with priming my face and my eyes, and then we will get on with the eye makeup. As you would have seen again in that other vlog, I also got my makeup done by Smashbox, and the lovely guy there actually gave me loads of little testers. So I'm still using the primer that he gave me in the goodie bag, but I actually can't remember what this one is called. It's rubbed off the bottom, but I think it's just one of their like really bog standard primers, but I'm obsessed with it. I think it's so good. So I'm just gonna prime my entire face with this. And then to actually prime my eyelids, I'm going to be taking the MAC Painterly Paint Pot and just using my finger to just apply this all over my eyelids. So I feel like this is turning into a little like sneak peek of what I got for Christmas, but I also got a full set of BH Cosmetic brushes. I've saved them till this video to try these out, but this is the entire set. So there is literally a brush in here for absolutely everything. So many that some of them I actually don't know what you're going to use them for. They are like this gorgeous pink color. I think they're like wooden brushes, but the brushes are synthetic. So I do want to try and test out this entire set for this video. So to do my eyes, I'm going to first of all take the number seven brush, which is just like a large fluffy brush I'm going to use this to pop the colour all in my crease and the palette I'm going to use first is the 35W palette which just looks like this how amazing is this this is kind of like a mix of some really super matte shades and also there's some shimmery ones in there whereas the other one is literally all shimmer shades so I'm gonna try to do a cut crease today and I will use the shimmer shades in the other palette to put all over my lid but to start with I'm going to be using some matte shades from here so I think I want this to be quite like warm toned look I know it's probably going to clash with my jumper but for what I'm doing this makeup look for it will go with my other outfits so for a kind of transition color I'm gonna take this one here so I'm just gonna be taking this through my crease I always hear so much about Morphe eyeshadows 
and I've just never purchased a palette for myself. I feel like with a lot of makeup, there's so many things I want to try, but I would never usually like just go out and buy them. So I always ask for stuff like this for Christmas. I also feel like the eyeshadows in here are actually massive because you don't need that much. This is probably going to last me a lifetime. Also, this brush feels really nice so far. So then I just want to darken up my crease a little bit. So I'm going to be taking this brush, which is number six. And it's kind of like a flat, dense brush, I want to say. I'm not very good at describing things, but obviously you can just see what this looks like. I think I'm going to go for this colour here, which is like quite purpley. But I'm just going to dab into it really lightly and see how this comes off. It's literally so pigmented. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see that. I'm just going to focus this on my outer crease. And then I'm going to be blending this out as I work it in. So I'm going to take the same number seven brush and just blend these two colours together as I go. I feel like these palettes would be even better if they had a massive mirror here. How useful would that be? So I think I'm going to leave it like that for now and now I'm going to attempt to cut my crease. So to do this I'm going to be using another brush from this set. So I'm going to be taking this one here which is their number 9 brush. But then to cut my crease I'm going to be using the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer. Just because this is so like pale and pigmented so I feel like this is going to work best. So I'm going to try and do a full cut crease and go completely over my entire lid. So this is what I have come up with so far. They are not the best cut creases in the world, but honestly, once I apply lashes and a little bit of shimmer, it will sort everything out. Now I'm gonna move on to adding some glitter to my eyelids. So I'm gonna be taking this 35OS palette, and this is the one that I referred to earlier, and it just is full of shimmers. Like, I don't know how much this is gonna pick up on camera, but this is absolutely stunning. I put a close-up Instagram video on my story, so I will probably put that on screen somewhere now, but this is Literally amazing, especially when the light hits it. So I'm gonna be using this to apply all over my lid where I've applied the concealer. And for this, I'm gonna be just using a kind of bigger domed flat brush. This one is like the brightest one in the palette and it's literally screaming my name. So I think I'm gonna apply that one all over my lid. So that is what it looks like on the lid. Hopefully you can see this, but I am still just blending as I go because there is a tiny bit of transfer of glitter on to where I've applied the matte colours and it just brushes off so easily. I'm just going to go ahead and do the same to the other eye. So now I'm just going to quickly add some winged liner and for this I'm using the Rimmel Glam Eyes Liquid Liner and then I will be back on camera. I hate doing this on camera because I just feel so much pressure. I'm going to quickly do this off camera and then I'll be back. One eternity later. So I'm fully aware that these do not look even at all. But before I move on to my lashes, I just really quickly want to do my eyebrows. To do this, I'm going to be using another brush from the BH Cosmetics set. This is the number 11, which is just like an angled brush. And then using my Holy Grail, which is my sleek brow kit. So I'm just going to be filling in my brows and then I will go around them with some concealer just to carve them out and make them a little bit more defined. And then to carve out my brows, I'm going to be using another one of the BH Cosmetic brushes. This is the number 10 and it's like just a really flat straight brush and I'm going to be taking the collection lasting perfection concealer again to do this I'm also mixing it in with a slightly darker concealer just because it is so so pale because sometimes I feel like it can just make them look odd when there's like a really light color underneath your brows this is such a good brush for this because you can really get a straight line with it i'm also just running what's left of the brush just on the top of my brow so now my brows are done i'm going to quickly move on to my lashes and then we will do my face so again for christmas i was lucky enough to receive some lily lashes these are the star miami which are the ones that i asked for obviously they're not in the box i'm about to put them on my eyes but i have tried these out and i'm obsessed with them i just couldn't help but sit there and think i've literally got 30 pounds worth of product on my eyes right now and i've been really careful with them ever since I also did receive the Lily Lashes glue, which I haven't actually seen many people use. I haven't heard a lot about this personally, but I'm really impressed with it. I just love the way that it applies the lashes. They honestly feel like they're not going to move at all, but then they also are so easy to take off at the end of the day. If you guys have seen me do my makeup before, you will know that I always like to curl my lashes and apply one coat of mascara before applying the false ones. So I'm going to do that now, and for this I'm just going to be taking some box and curlers and then the Buxom Cosmetics mascara. Dad, how are you going to cope? Well, yeah, they never, they're all good play together. And then, uh, and then when you go back to like, oh, they're just being... These are lashes on. I absolutely love these. 
they just feel so comfortable in the eyes as well and of course they are 30 pounds they are so expensive for a pair of lashes but i'm going to reuse these until the dying day now on with the face so of course i primed earlier so i'm basically just going to go straight on with my foundation i recently ran out of my dream oh man i've bought the wrong one. Oh no i haven't i recently ran out of my maybelline dream satin liquid so i bought a new one they've actually changed their packaging since then as well and i really love what this one looks like so i'm going to somehow try and get into this Oh my god. I've just taken the lid off this or tried to pull the lid off and it has flicked foundation everywhere. All over my softbox light, all over everything in front of me. What the fuck? <laughs> Look, there's some on the camera. What the fuck? I actually don't know what to do. Like, that is so bad. Fuck. Do you know what? I'm just going to deal with that later. I'm just going to carry on with my makeup and sort that out in a minute. How do I get this lid off then? I don't understand. It has this sticker on it, which means I can't take the lid off. And I literally cannot get this sticker off for the life of me. Right, that is now off. Jesus Christ. So I'm just going to be taking this and a damp Real Techniques face sponge. I really want to get the body version of this sponge just because it's so big and people literally rave about how little time it takes them to do their makeup i'm just literally going to apply this all over my face i feel like this is going to be quite dark for how pale i am right now but we're just going to roll with it i love this foundation i think i've said in a video before that this is obviously just like a liquid version of the dream matte mousse was it everybody used in year six or seven or whatever year it was um, but I actually never tried that, I never ever used it. But this just has such full coverage, especially for a drugstore foundation. I think it's like six or seven pounds or something, and I just absolutely love it. I don't know if anybody else has this, but I'm finding recently that my foundation rubs off here first. So it's usually when I like apply it onto my cheeks, and then I want to kind of build it up. If I apply it again, it literally just takes off, but just from this area. I'm not really sure why it does that. If anyone else has the same problem, then let me know. The only problem with doing your eyes first is then trying to get into this bit without ruining your eye makeup. So as I said, it is a little bit too dark to match the rest of my neck, so I'm just going to take it on a stippling brush and blend it all in. So that is foundation done. I'm obsessed. Like, is anybody else seeing this coverage? I just think it's absolutely insane. Just a reminder, this is the Maybelline Dream Satin Liquid. Holy Grail, love this foundation so much. My other favourite is the L'Oreal Lumi Magique. This one is empty, so I don't really know why it's in there, but that is another drugstore favourite, but this just has to be the best one. So then for concealer, I'm going to be using, again, the Collection Lasting Perfection, if I can find it. This is in the shade 1, which is fair, and I'm just going to be applying this on all the high points of my face, so I'm going to be brightening my under eyes to start with. So I'm just going to apply this all under my eyes. Obviously, when you're doing this, you want to be careful of the liner that you've applied for your eye makeup because you don't want to be smudging that everywhere i feel like doing your face after you've done your eye makeup is like the most satisfying thing because it just ties the whole thing together then i'm just going to apply some of this down at the bridge of my nose that is so off center <laughs> wow that's quite a lot and then a tiny bit on my forehead and then a tiny bit also on my cupid's bow and my chin i've seen loads of people recently applying concealer around here I don't really know why. I don't feel like it makes a lot of difference, so I don't think it's like a bad thing, but I just wouldn't think to put concealer around my mouth. Again, I'm just using the same Real Techniques Beauty Blender or Face Sponge, whatever you want to call it, to blend this out. And as you can see, it just seriously, seriously brightens up your under eye area, which is what I'm going for. So that is the concealer all blended in. Now I'm going to go and bronze up my face a little bit. So to do this, I'm going to be using my trusty Buxom Cosmetics Tarty Bronzer. This jumbo is so annoying. And I'm actually going to use one of the BH Cosmetic brushes. This is the number one. And it's like, I'd say this is more of a contour brush, but I'm going to use it for bronzer because I am. So I'm just going to be taking a little bit of this on here. This bronzer is so pigmented, so honestly I now don't use that much because I feel like there's been a few times where I've gone really overboard with this and not realised it. I'm just going to swirl that around in the pan, tap off the excess, and then apply this really lightly and in like circular motions to my cheeks. Oh, do you know what? I hate changing brushes like halfway through doing something, so 
I'm going to actually just use my massive Royal Techniques fluffy brush, which is what I always use to do this. So as you guys know, I usually just use this to bronze up my entire face. So I'm going to start with my cheekbones. I love this bronzer so much. I think it's literally the best. And then I'm going to take this up onto my forehead and like down my temples. I'm going to use the BH Cosmetic Brush to do this just because using the massive one really gets in my hair. So I'm going to use this kind of smaller one to focus it on these areas. Okay, so now I think I'm gonna move on to highlights. So I'm gonna be using my usual mixture of highlighters, which is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Global Glow. And I mix this with a little bit of the Balm Cosmetics. Mary Luminizer. And then I'm gonna take this on the number three brush from BH Cosmetics, which has foundation on it. So as I say, I use a mix of these two products, so I just really lightly dip into both of them. I focus more on the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish just because the Mary Luminizer is so brightening that it, sometimes it just looks white on my face. So I really like these happen to that one. And then I'm just gonna be applying this on my cheekbones. And then once I've done one cheek, I basically take whatever is left on the brush and just apply this to the tip of my nose. And then also I'm going to dip just into the mirror luminizer and apply this to my cupid's bow. Probably shouldn't talk while I'm doing this. Which looks pretty crazy now, but when I apply lipstick, it obviously just leaves the cupid's bow highlighted. And then I'm just going to do the exact same on the other cheek. And then recently I've also been applying a little bit of the highlighter. So again, whatever is left on my brush to above my brow bone, basically. Pretty much just because I've seen so many other people do this. So I've just jumped on that bow wagon. And that is what I do for highlights. So then finally, I'm just going to do my lips and then I'm pretty sure we are done here before i do my lips actually i want to put a little bit of inner corner highlight on my eyes and to do this i've been loving using the Stila magnificent metals glitter and glow liquid eyeshadow i've been watching lily brown recently and she always has like a blinding inner corner highlight because she uses like a glitter instead of just a shimmer shade so when i received this i have been using this ever since i think it's so good for doing that so it basically just has like a doe for applicator and i'm just gonna dab this basically on my inner corner and i mean i feel like this just totally speaks for itself so that is what i've been loving to do for inner corner highlight and saying that i am also going to run a little bit of the same eyeshadows in my crease underneath my eyes just to kind of darken them up a little bit and make it a bit more prominent and to do this i'm actually just going to use the same brush that i applied it with and just be really really delicate with this Okay, so now all I have left to do is lips. Sorry, I totally went off on a tangent there. But for lips, because the eyes are pretty dramatic, I wanna keep it quite subtle. I would usually just go in with a lip gloss, but I actually can't find mine. I think I left it at my friend's house. So I'm going to take this Rimmel London lipstick, and it is one of the Kate Moss lipsticks, I believe. And this is in the shade eight. It's literally just like a really pinky nude color. So I'm just gonna apply this and then probably find something to apply over the top. To be fair, I actually like how this has turned out. I have applied a tiny, tiny bit of the MAC taupe over the top of it. But this, I believe, is my finished makeup look. I feel like I've got everything that I possibly could have on my face right now. So this is how it turned out. I really hope you like it. And obviously, I think I've used some really affordable makeup in here. And if you want to test out those Morphe palettes, then I'm pretty sure that mum got them on beauty bay because that is what everything turned up in so if you want to give these a go i personally would highly recommend them so if you did enjoy it let me know down below i personally do quite like watching get ready with me's and especially when they're like real time just a little chit chat video i just think they're quite relaxing to watch sometimes yeah i hope you enjoyed it and if you want to see more of my face then click that subscribe button down below too otherwise thank you so much for watching as always and i will see you guys very very soon in my next one bye guys